across this magnificent mall and why a man whose father less than 60 years ago might not have been served at a local restaurant can now stand before you to take a most sacred oath. we still have the dream because Barack is a personification of Martin's I have a dream message. There's no doubt in my mind that Barack Obama is that bridge from Martin Luther King Jr. to the future for our kids. They really have a great movement here in Memphis. Yes, Memphis has a singular place in history, man. It is admittedly a, a sorry, a sad place in history, but there is no other city on the face of the earth uh, where Dr. King gave his life. No city on the face of the earth. Therefore, there's no other city that owes him any more than Memphis owes him. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. I'm Ernie Freeman in Washington, D.C. The inauguration of Barack Obama has special meaning for people across this nation and across the world. It also has special meaning for people in Memphis, Tennessee. Forty years after the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., 53 years after Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on that bus, America now has a black president. Memphis has such an important place uh, in the presence of Barack Obama in that White House, man. And because of that connection, we had to go. There was just no question about it. The inauguration of Barack Obama drew people from all over the nation and all over the world. Hundreds of thousands of people started filling into the National Mall well before dawn. Others wouldn't make it there, like these people, stuck trying to get through one of the many security checkpoints. We've been right in this spot since 4.30 this morning. Pretty frustrating. Yeah, real frustrating. This makes those Walmart store openings on Black Friday after Thanksgiving look like small potatoes. By early morning, more than one million people standing shoulder to shoulder from the steps of the Capitol, past the Washington Monument, approaching the feet of Abraham Lincoln. And somewhere in the midst of all those people, an emotional group from the new Mount Olivet Baptist Church. This was well worth it and then some, just to be a part of history. This is fabulous. This is a lifelong experience that we'll never forget and we'll treasure for the rest of our lives. And a sea of others just like them, praying, listening, rejoicing, as the nation's first black president is sworn in. We remain a young nation, but in the words of scripture, the time has come to set aside childish things. The time has come to reaffirm our enduring spirit, to choose our better history, to carry forward that precious gift, that noble idea passed on from generation to generation, the God-given promise that all are equal, all are free, and all deserve a chance to pursue their full measure of happiness.
I'm seeing it. I'm experiencing it. And every morning I got to get up, I got to shake my head to believe it. I mean, it's really happened. And, and here it is. And I'm here to see it and be a part of it. I saw it coming, but to be honest with you, I never thought I'd live to see it. Memphis for Obama! <laughs> Memphians David and Judy Turner gave up their honeymoon to be here. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and we could not let it pass us by. Oh, the beach will have to wait. <laughs> the beach will always be there. It was a good time to live in the 60s and it's an awesome time to live right now because it says that we really saw some things transpire in 40 years. We saw a changing and we saw just how, really how big God is, because this was a God thing. Yeah. 